what's up everybody welcome back to my channel for another video y'all i'm so sorry i have been away i just been living my life okay your girl has like to live literally i've been living and it's been so nice y'all and i figured i would just oh wait let me introduce y'all to my cousin. Yeah, I was like, where, when is that coming? Yes, guys, this is my cousin, <laughs> Reagan. We have been cousins all of our lives. Uh, <laughs> we were born. Oh, well, we were born and then we were cousins. Her dad is my mom's brother and my mom is her dad's sister. Yeah. He is also my pastor, so she's a PK. Mm, Y'all know what they say about PKs. We gotta pray for them. But no, she is saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, five of times, washed in the mighty blood of the Lamb. Like, I feel like my face looks swollen. Do I look ugly? No. Are you, you sure? Y'all been eating a lot of sugar. Look at, we just, we just woke up. <laughs> we did, y'all, and I was, oh, I just belched. Um, I'm <laughs> determined to give y'all a video take because y'all have not seen me in a few weeks, and I am so sorry for that, y'all. I really am. Are we zoomed in? No, oh, no, we not, but oh, my arm is hurting. Um, y'all, I just wanted to give y'all a little life update, okay? This is a little chaotic, but guess what? We're just gonna go with the energy, okay? So, Reagan, what life update do you want to share? Has there been anything exciting that happened in your life? So, we'll go with Honestly, Reagan first. It, at this point, it could probably be a whole book, but I'm not okay. Like, <laughs> you could share. Oh, can you feel comfortable sharing, like, yeah, some revelations? I was gonna get in. into that. Damn! So, <laughs> God is so amazing just how he does things. As y'all, I'm sure y'all know, Alex has been on a healing journey. Quite the journey. And uh, about like uh, two and a half, almost three years ago now, like something very like detrimental happened in my life. Like very traumatic. Extreme heartbreak. <laughs> if anybody has ever, that's watching this has ever felt heartbreak, you know, like you literally feel it like in there and it was really rough and through that experience um god had begun to show me like things that i was still carrying from childhood that i didn't know issues that i didn't know um were still there and so over the past really he started bringing these things well, I say he started bringing these things to the surface, but really, I think I just got my focus where it needed to be. Mm, you finally and acknowledged started it. To see, yeah. So, anywho, because, like, dealing with the heartbreak and stuff, honestly, it, like, kind of pulled me away from God because I, I, it became, like, such a distraction. Like, my hurt became a distraction. <laughs> Do you think that sometimes we idolize our pain? Okay, I was just about to say that. God showed me that. That's I didn't tell you that last night. Wow, I so, just, that yes, just dropped in God my gave me a word and he said, stop idolizing the issue. Wow, that's a word. Because if we're not careful, we allow our what we're going through. And I know it's hard because you feel it so tough. You feel it so hard and mm -hmm. it's just like, ugh. But if we're not careful, like we're saying, God, like, you know, help me. Take this away. Take this away. But really, like really we're idolizing that issue and making mm -hmm. it greater. Like, mm -hmm. that's why God was telling me, like, I am enough. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, anywho, once I finally got out of that place of idolizing the issue, that's when I began to see there are deeper rooted mm -hmm. things within me that mm -hmm. need to, like, from childhood that need to. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, just with some of the things I've been through as a child, just not feeling like, I was enough and that's a whole nother like story to that like the reasoning behind that but um not feeling like I was enough not feeling beautiful enough not feeling accepted um just all this stuff um God started to show me how I was still carrying that and that's why I was having such a hard time getting over with what I had what getting over what I had just been through mm -hmm. and so I just thank God because now I feel like now I'm now just now I'm actually feeling the mending of my heart. Come on, feeling like like I'm starting to like see myself in a different way. Like, mm -hmm. girl, you are that girl. I am that girl. Yes, like, yes. Wait, wait. Yes. So anyway, yes. That's just a little, just a little tidbit. Yes, that it's a whole <laughs> nother level of confidence like you embody like when you mm -hmm. realize 
who God created you to be. Yes. Not who man said that I should be. Not who man tries to perceive me as. But literally who God created me to be will always be enough. Mm -hmm. And I had to realize that in this last year. If who God made me be was not enough for you, then you are not the person for me. Exactly. If I got it with friendship, romantic relationship, job. If who I am is not enough for you, this business, this relationship, whatever then I know that I am not supposed to be here because God is never going to put me in a situation to where I have to fight for people's love. Because the moment that God died on the cross for me, I became enough. Yeah. So if anytime you make me feel like I have to prove my worthiness or prove my love to you, then you're probably not supposed to be in my life. Exactly. It's, it's, it's just that simple. Yeah. But I'm so proud of you for the journey that you're going on, y'all. We are sparking something. I feel like the Lord is really using I really this. I really do. Like, I feel like, you know, all things work together for the good. And going through pain sucks, but it does. it's absolutely necessary sometimes. It does. Because our pain brings us here if we mm -hmm. handle it the, if we if we let if we let god handle it the way it's supposed to be handled um face the issue but don't magnify it face the issue but don't magnify it. i yeah. like that my eyes twitching i like that <laughs> a lot i like that i'm trying to think if there's any life updates for me y'all i've just been going with the flow and i've just been living my life and trying not to allow my trauma to dictate my responses to things like i have really been in like fight or flight mode the past three weeks maybe anytime something goes wrong i'm just like okay i'm done don't want it don't want it don't want it don't want it and i'm like alex you cannot allow your trauma to dictate where your life goes mm -hmm. if you do that you'll be a miserable individual oh, because you're always constantly going to be in that cycle of just like oh, it's a cycle and i felt sick like the other day i literally felt physically ill like my stomach was hurting and i was like felt like i had to throw up and i was like god i don't want to feel like this i said lord you have to heal me from this oh uh, that fearful sounds like me attachment. like lord i'm like i i like i told you about that jackie O'Pair video about the trauma how we only go through so much because we're not trusting god to, to take yes, care of us that's like, it we're not trusting god yeah. to be the protector and mentor of heart yes the bible says guard your heart with all diligence but we have to also allow the lord to do his part we can't go above and beyond we're like okay lord we'll guard it enough to know that the people that you bring into my life you will protect me yes. you will shield me because yes. if i'm listening to you the people that are in my life are supposed to be in my life mm -hmm. now if i'm doing stuff for my own will we might have a problem okay right, right. but yeah i'm just trying to stay out of fight or flight mode and i'm trying to just like not let my trauma dictate everything and i'm really trying to listen to the voice of the lord and not like run from things just because i'm scared does that make sense like because the lord can bless you in such a way that it's overwhelming sometimes the blessings of the lord are just like you like lord okay can i really take this like mm -hmm. he's like girl i wouldn't have gave it to you if you couldn't have took it Not and i'm just really. like lord but then the devil will have you self-sabotaging and ruin something that the lord didn't gave you right so it's like i'm really just trying to learn how to maneuver through that's that. why the enemy wants us to hold on to trauma mm -hmm. is so that we will sabotage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes and i think really thing too another thing that i've been trying to overcome is like keeping my mouth closed uh because mm -hmm. i know that there is so much power in my voice and the, mm -hmm. the voice that god has given me but the devil keeps me so like i allow the devil to keep me like scared and fearful because i'm like what if i talk and people don't understand what i'm saying like i feel like sometimes when i speak people don't understand but i know that that's just like a, a insecurity that i have because yeah. I, mean, I, get that. I think y'all understand what I'm saying. I, I hope y'all understand. But today I'm going to do the welcome. I didn't stress about it last night. I said I'm not going to stress about it. I'm going to go to the first service, enjoy the first service. Then when it's time for me to get up and do the welcome, I'm just going to get up and do the welcome. So it's a welcome to first service? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, it's You're going to miss, oh, miss it. Yeah. Womp, womp. Womp. Oh, <laughs> Y'all, so I want them to. I want you to tell them about Man of God. We don't say his name on here. We just say Man of God. Oh, okay. But I want I want her to tell y'all like what she really thinks of him. Like, you know, so somebody in my actual real life can tell y'all like this is not an illusion. Like this is this is real life. So the Man of God. First of all, let me just say I'll be very observant. <laughs> Do you? Yes, especially when it comes to people I love. I'm looking that's, at you like that's me. I she loved me. But anywho, what can I say? Oh my god! First of all, he's so freaking sweet. Like I just want to squeeze his little cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> 
He is so freaking sweet. And he has freckles, which I love. My husband has like, so many freckles. So I'm like, oh, freckles! But um, he is very, very, very... Oh, God. He's just so sweet. He really I is. I really, like... That's just, like... He the really main is. word I have is just sweet. He's so... He's thoughtful. Um, me or Alex, we don't touch a door. No woman in his presence touches a door. We, yeah, so... I, the manners. The politeness. The... And you need... I mean, so many men, I feel like, have lost that. Chivalry like, is dead. Yeah. Creeped on my Instagram. <laughs> um, so sweet. Polite. Thoughtful. Um, he just, I can just tell like he really, he truly adores Alex. You think so? For yes. Real? He, he adores you. For he, real? He adores Alex. For real? Yes. Stop. Yes. It's so sweet. And like, it, it makes my heart glad because he's a young man. Mm -hmm. And I can see also like, I don't know, I just feel like I can see his heart. Like, you know, I, mm -hmm. he, I can tell like. He loves you. I can tell that his heart is reaching out to God. Like he mm -hmm. wants more. Like he's already yes. a he's already a Christian, obviously. Mm -hmm. But yes, I can hey. tell like he wants more. Mm -hmm. Like he he wants He wants to learn. Yes. He wants, he wants yeah. to be who God has created yeah. him to be. Can I tell real quick what he did last night? Yeah, no. yes. Yeah. This I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> so um Last night was my dad's, um, like, dinner celebration or whatever, whatever. And um, towards the end, everybody there had the opportunity to speak. And uh, people were getting up, you know, one by one. And then, man, a God got up. I was like, ooh, he finna go oh, I was telling him I was in the bathroom. Yeah, I, Alex, I was... Alex went to the bathroom, so she was not present. I had to go boo-boo. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> He got up, and when he got up, I was like, oh, my gosh. No, he's not about to get up. So he got on the mic, and, y'all, he didn't say a lot. Obviously, he was, like, so super nervous. And he's he's new. It's mm -hmm. not like he's been a member of this church. Yeah, he's new. he just left okay. his church to join our church, yeah. like, two months ago. Yeah, so um, he's like, he talks to the first lady, uh, my dad's wife, and he's like, you know, I just want to say thank you for um, always listening to Alex. <laughs> like, so he's speaking on Alex's behalf. Yeah, now that's a man. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and so then, um, and then he's like, he looks at my dad. And he's like, thank you so much for talking to me. Like, and just sharing our testimonies has been such a blessing. And he's just like. Thank you, both. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Y'all, I was pickled tink. Or pickled tink. Tickled pink. <laughs> I was tickled pink. And so I was like, okay, well, that's it. That's yeah. Just kind of because that's a big, like, that's a big deal. That's like, a huge deal. It, like, I just feel like he's just pour, putting his heart out there. Like, yes. you know. It's a huge deal. And then for me, I didn't even know he was getting up. Yeah. So when you told me that, he didn't even tell me. So I was like, oh my gosh. Like, he really got up and spoke for both of us. Like, yeah. I, I mean, I should have got up, but he had already got up. So I would have said exactly what he said a little yeah. longer. But, like, I would have specifically talked to Sister Amanda because she disciples me. Yeah. But, like. I yeah, just felt like it was very thoughtful, very intentional. He's so thoughtful. And it was just like, like, obviously he was nervous, mm -hmm. but he was still willing to. He said, I was nervous as heck. <laughs> 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 but yes, he is so sweet. It's just nice to hear, like, my family's response to somebody that actually loves me, like Christ loves me. Like, because all of my previous experiences, like, my ex-husband, no disrespect or shame to him. That man didn't love me. Like, it just was what it was. Maybe he tried to love me in the capacity in which he could. It just wasn't. Then my ex, that was just a toxic mess. Like, that was just a lot, like... Very toxic. Very toxic. Just very demonic. Just, like, full of the enemy. Just, like, I'll go more into that later. Because I think I'm ready to share that testimony part of it. But, like, why I felt like it was such a demonic connection. But that's, like, a whole nother level. But then this is just so, it's so, it's such a different experience for me. Like, we are very intentional. Like, I've never had a man just like, oh, our first date, he was just like, oh, I'm marrying you. <laughs> yeah, he was just like, that's it. Like, but that's how what happens when you do things the right way. Like, yeah. and when it's like God ordained, like, things just like, 
you know, they just mesh. Fall yes. into place. Yes, y'all. So I'm glad. I'm glad my cousin loves. I'd be nervous though, cause you know that's why I was. Your dad was like getting on to me, and he was like, he probably shouldn't have met everybody so soon, blah blah blah. And I was thinking, no, I want him to meet everybody soon because I don't want to waste six months of my life and then finally everybody meet him and they see things that I never saw mm -hmm. because I got too close. But if everybody meets him up front first and they can point out things that I maybe didn't notice and I'm mm -hmm. not so attached to the point to where I'm like not wanting to release it. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Yeah. So if y'all see a spirit in him and I'm like, okay, well, Lord, let me pray in and Lord confirm that. Then I know if it's early on, you got to go. But we Plus, six months in, I'm attached. Yeah, and I, exactly. And I was having this conversation with a friend the other day, or yesterday, actually. Like, I feel like if a man is pursuing you, mm -hmm. And he's, you know, showing qualities that you feel like, oh, hey, you know, this is, mm -hmm. why not go ahead and just let him meet people. Let them meet people. Ask the questions you want to ask. I am like, not in support of like keeping people a secret for, maybe you keep a secret for like a month. But anything longer than that to me, I don't feel, well, not for me in my life is not conducive to me in my life because I've made that mistake before. And by the time people met them and told me their red flags, you're already, you're already attached. I'm already attached. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I hear y'all, but I love them. I'm not going nowhere, right. blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, I'm not doing that this way this time. Y'all going to meet him. But everybody met him actually on accident because right, yeah, you told the majority me. of my family met him on accident because my family don't call before they show up to people's house. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, I definitely will never, like if me and him don't work out, God forbid, then I will continue the same way. Everybody's going to meet him. Like, mm -hmm. I'm never going back to the other way. Because we've been talking for 18, almost 18 minutes. Oh, wow. That's what's up. We got to get just a few more minutes to get it to 20 minutes. Which means we got to go over 20 because I got to edit that little section out. Okay. But, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's any more life updates I need to give. My job has been, y'all ain't been wanting to go to work. I haven't been. I went to work two days last week. If I could just get on my grind with like my that. YouTube, I could quit my job because between Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, I make enough money to where I could quit plus my child support, but I just... Maybe you should make a step of faith. And what that mean? Quit my job? I mean, pray about it. But I pray I'm about it, but I would like to buy January if I can... Or put some money back and then, you know... Yeah, yeah, maybe... Prepared. Yeah, maybe come like next tax season because you know I'll be Stack rich then. Change. Then I can probably maybe quit my job and do this full time. Because if I did this full time, y'all would get videos consistently. Y'all probably get three to four videos a week if I'm being honest. If I was doing this full time. But working a full time job, being a full time mother, and being at church four days out of the week. That's a lot. I'm, I'm busy. That's why we're filming this on a Sunday morning before we get ready for church. That's honestly why I haven't started my side hustle. Yeah, girl. It's, it's, a, lot. it's a lot. And people don't realize that, especially when you already work at nine to five. Yes. So it's like, man, on top of that, then you got a parent. That's a 24 hour job, like 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Bruh. And then you're trying to make sure you manage your friendships and build relationships. So it's like, that takes time. Like, and I feel like that's more valuable to me than like spending money on somebody is like giving them my time. That's because, very true. Like, man it's just it's just a lot y'all but i promise i'm gonna try to get back to being consistent but y'all gotta just bear with me yeah but if i did this consistently then i could definitely quit my job i just gotta i think god will you know he'll take you there you'll get there i hope so because i would love to like start a um faith wednesday on here mm -hmm. where i have a guest come on and they share their testimony that would be so funny. about what god has like done for them or like where they're going or where they see they're headed but my mom was talking to me the other day and she was like alex i see you and the man of god she said his name i see you and the man of god like starting like a, like a like she didn't say podcast but she was like videos where y'all just get on and y'all just talk about the lord i said really mom and she was like yeah i said i would really like that like if if i could if that could be a side like stream of income for us that would be great because he has a powerful t you don't even know his testimony his beautiful testimony uh -huh. like powerful testimony like the lord really transformed his life like that like literally my really? eyes twitching again. What is going on? Y'all down in the comments. Drop down. Let me know why my eye keep twitching. But um, yeah, I'll share, share some of his testimony when we get off of here. But uh, 
yeah y'all this is my cousin i'm glad y'all got to meet her um if y'all want to know any more anything else any more life updates we're going to see reagan in december we're going the first weekend of december so make sure you put that on your calendar because i already put it on mine first week of december because i'm already talked to chris about keeping the boys okay but uh we're for sure coming like for sure like that's not a that's on the that's on the schedule we're leaving friday i'm gonna take off of work gonna leave friday morning so that way we'll have all of majority of friday saturday and then we'll leave sunday evening yay but i won't be by myself and i don't work mondays so technically we can leave friday or sunday evening period i just gotta make sure he get off work yeah because i want y'all to come to church yeah that's that's one of the main points i want to come because i love your pastor yeah of course I want to. you see know he's gonna give man of god a word he gave everybody a word. He gave me a word. <laughs> Remember, he told me that my whole my he said this whole year is gonna be and, dedicated and to ministry. You know and it was. It did. That's what happened. You, you know, last year I got a prophecy and it said that I was meet, gonna meet my husband this year. Really? At the end of this year, and he said it's not gonna be anybody I knew. He's just gonna be some random man that like is not after me for like what I look like, but my heart. And you know, the first thing that man of God said to me was he was like, um, "Alex, you're beautiful." But I want what's inside you, your mind, oh. like your heart. He literally, he literally oh. said that. Wow, <laughs> if somebody said that to me, I'd be like, you be giving me every time he talks, you be like, <laughs> I'd be like, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just pray that I don't mess it up. You won't. As I long as you not. keep your eyes on God, you won't mess it up. Yes, and that's our that's main the focus. Key. He texted me that yesterday. He said, because I was just thanking him and affirming him. And he was like, as long as I can get you to make sure you keep Christ as the forefront of your life and the center, then that, that means I'm doing my job. Oh, no. <laughs> I wish I had my phone so you could see these messages. Next time, I'm going to just start sending them to you. Because I'm like, oh, is this real life? Like, mm -hmm. he is everything mm -hmm. I pray for and some. He's literally everything on my list to Jesus. Even the boys. Because I had the boys put what they wanted. And they put, mm -hmm. he had to play video games. And he had to play sports. Mm -hmm. He played video games and sports. Gabe was like, oh yeah. That's so sweet. Single ladies, this is why you wait on the Lord. Just Come in. The Lord. Oh, there's the man of God. There's the man of God right there. You want to say hi, baby? I'm getting ready for church, but yeah. <laughs> you got it. Hello. There he is. <laughs> we were just talking about you. But okay, guys, we're going to end the video here. I will see you in the next one. Say bye, Reagan. Bye. Say bye, man. God. Bye. <laughs> God is good. All the time. <laughs>